think uh, you ever been any a part of anything like that? Uh, yeah, nothing like that. Coming back from what, what was the lead? How 30, much? 30, 30, 35, 7. 30, okay, 28. So, yeah, I've never been a part of a 28 point comeback, and it was pretty amazing to be a part of, thanks to my teammates, thanks to my coaches, and um, it's just a blessing to be able to, to experience a moment like this. So, like at what point, <clears throat> maybe it was the whole game, at what point did you start believing, I guess, that it could happen? Oh, I believe before we before we played this game. Um, I believe in all of our coaches. I believe in all my teammates. These guys right here. Um, I never stopped believing. I get we were one and three, and and that's not a way to start the season. But I never stopped believing. I believe we we're going to win this game before the game, and and in the middle of the game, we're down whatever 28 points, and it's it's a big thanks to our coaches, um, my teammates. Everybody played so hard. I'm so proud of everybody. This whole organization, and you know, everybody was doubting us, and so we use that as fuel this game, and, and came out with a W. Isaiah, what are, what's going through your mind uh, before you line up that last game? Oh man, um, well the whole game, honestly, um, I, I prayed for peace, and I felt like the Lord was very gracious today. <coughs> so today, I don't even know what I was thinking about, but I was peaceful. Um, I knew that my teammates had set me up for success, and so I, like, I'm glad that we were able to execute it. Speaking of your teammates, uh, Garrison went out earlier with an injury. What was that like? Just the trust you have to have in the backup next guy up. Um, I thought I thought he did a great job coming back in. Um, like I was I was bummed for Garrison. Like that that sucked. Um, but I thought that I thought that Dylan came in and did a really good job. It was definitely an adjustment. We haven't had like we haven't like done an op together in like weeks. But uh, it was it was an adjustment. But I thought he did an extremely well job. So. Like this kind of seems a little bit like last year against Oklahoma on the road, <coughs> winning when kind of people doubted you in Norman. Now you guys pull out maybe one of the greatest comebacks in program history. I mean, how do you kind of build off of that and not do what happened <coughs> last year and uh, you know kind of sputter out? Yeah, uh, I think all of these guys we got to stay together. Um, we got to use this game as fuel for the next game. Um, we're going to enjoy this win because, you know, it's hard to come by wins in this league. Um, so, yeah, we're going to enjoy this win and we're going to move on to next week and, and we're going to keep letting everybody doubt us. And that, that's the thing. Everybody's going to keep doubting us no matter what. No matter what happened this game, they're going to keep doubting us the next game. And, you know, we're going to use that as fuel moving forward. And so I got trust in, in all our guys and, and coaches. So I'm excited for the future. Monterey, what worked well for you today? This man right here, and just knowing my teammates got my back and I got their back. I was saying in the first quarter, like, we're still in this. As long as we stick together, we can do anything. And Blake just happened to keep finding me around the defense, and that's just how the game went. Thank God for that. I thank my teammates for that. I thank coaches for that. And yeah, we just got to stick together, and we, we've come a long way. Monterey, talk about that one on the sideline that kind of got y'all in field goal range where he hit you on the sideline, and then you kind of turned it back and got it down, I think, to the 15 or something. Talk about that play. Just what, how did that come out? Well, I had made a play like maybe the drive before or something like that. So I guess they had faith to call my number again, and Blake threw it to me and made. I guess today I was just breaking tackles. That's how I felt. I, mean, I broke a few tackles and I was trying to get loose. I should have scored though, but that's not me. Blake, y'all scored 29 in a row to end the game. I mean, 29 straight points. Is that a glimpse of what the team could be? Yeah, I mean. We, so early on in the game, I mean, we were moving the football the whole game. There was never a time where, I mean, I think the first drive we went three and out or something like that. Um, but that was really the only drive that we didn't move the football. We moved the football the whole fo the whole game. And so we got to we got to the red zone, and, and that's when we, we, could, we weren't executing. And so, you know, we got to find ways to be able to score early on in, the, in those situations and, and be able to trust that we're going to get in the end zone. And, you know, we moved the, the ball the whole game, so there's no sputtering early and all, early on or any of that. Like we played good the whole game, we just we just you know we couldn't finish in the red zone, and, and that's a big thing in this this league. You got to finish if you want to win. So um, I think that's what we got to do, and that's what we we did towards the end of the game. Like, where did the energy in the fourth quarter into the third quarter come from? Where did that <coughs> energy juice come from? I saw it. Coach Aranda getting kind of fired up on the sideline. Like, yeah. Where did that come from? I think I think it came from us making you know big plays. Obviously, um, whenever you don't make too many plays, there's gonna you know you're not gonna have too much energy. And I'll give a huge credit, uh, props to this guy right here because these last two weeks he's came out and he's been he's been our guy. Like he he's came out and and he's been vocal. 
he, when everyone's down, he's picking them up no matter what. All these plays you see him make and all this stuff, like, yeah, that's cool and everything, but the type of guy this guy is, it's, it's, it's unmatchable. So to be able to have him on my side is, is unbelievable. I can't, can't thank him enough, and I can't thank all my teammates enough either. All, Hal Presley, all those guys, skill guys, Keytron, all those guys, they played hard, and, and so do our running backs, and I'm proud of all those guys. So. Blake, getting back to last game, there's a point where you didn't scored 73 to 14. Why did the team give up? What, what's, what's, Wait, what's can you say, that, you say that again? I mean, you know, thinking back to last game, there's a point where this team's gone 73 points to 14 points down over the course of seven quarters. Mm. Why not give up? Like, where did that come from? Uh, you know, we, we have – we, I don't, we have a bunch of guys on this team that just don't give up. We put in so much, we put in so much time in the off season and, and so much hard work. Like, I, I don't know a program that works like us in the off season. Like, I'm being serious. I, I, every guy I've talked to that goes, I don't know that they work this hard. And so when we hear that and the amount of work that we, we've put, on, put, put in, like, you can't give up. Like, there's, there's no time to be given up because we put in way too much work just to give up for big moments like this. And so that's a huge thing. I think guys, you know, really still trust the work they put in, and, and there's no time for giving up for us. So, Murray, the, with the stadium kind of emptying out at halftime and everything, did you and the team and the sideline ever lose focus? or How did you keep your focus? Just staying like, like all we care about is winning. <clears throat> and all we care about is each other. So if we're staying with each other and trying to win this game, then that's all we got to do is just focus on the game. We ain't really focusing on like the stands and stuff like that because especially because we were losing, so it's like okay, I'm really trying to win this game. Like we gotta do something. Like we gotta make something happen. So like just being interactive with my teammates and just with the coaches and all that stuff just helped us stay locked in. Monterey, you were one of the team captains. Was that from some of the work that Blake was talking about? You know, throughout the week, throughout the last couple of weeks, is that is that why you were rewarded with that? Uh, yes, sir. Because like when we played Texas. Even though we lost, I was trying to be that guy because I don't. That game, I don't really think nobody was doing it, and I could see a difference in me. So I came out here this game with the same mindset, just trying to be vocal, trying to lift everybody up, trying to make sure everybody's engaged. And as you can see, I mean, it paid off. As long as we stick together, then we can do anything because we have the best players in the world, and I believe that. What's going through y'all's mind when they line up a 59-yard field goal? Is that right? 59. Yeah. yeah. To try to win the game. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, we were talking on the sidelines like, there's no way. Like, this is our game. And I think we all believe that. So, you know, it's a blessing. Thanks to God. Um, you know, I give all the glory to him. And, you know, we've been through a lot as a team. And, and I just want to want to lift God up. And he, he's blessed me with so many opportunities. And this is one of them. So I can't thank him enough for that. Well, like, was the offense was the offense able to kind of feed off the defense, getting consistent stops there in the second half during that run, and kind of vice versa, the defense feeding off y'all? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, whenever you get a stop, <clears throat> you know, a three and out or, or whatever it is, um, you know, it's it just gives energy to us. It gives confidence to us, knowing that we're still in this football game and that we can still go down there and make plays and score and, and get back in this football game. So, you know, it was a huge, huge. Um, we, we played as a team, you know, and I think you saw that, especially in the second half. It was a bunch of co complimentary football going on, and, you know, we were backing the defense up, and they were backing us up. So you could just feel that energy. So we just fed off each other. Isaiah, is this what it takes? Does this turn the entire season around? I think so. I think I think we've had, like, everything that we need all season long um, to execute and to win games, and I think today was, like, showed what, we, what we're capable of. Um, the third and fourth quarter, I think that showed what we're capable of, so I think so. Hey, it's uh, it's good to see you guys. So happy with the win. Happy for our players and their um, their families. And uh, I'm happy for our assistant coaches and their families, and for just all the people that are associated with the football program. I'm happy for them. And uh, so many people work so hard and have so much pride in the work that they do and so to uh, to bring a win yeah you know it means a lot and so I'm happy for them um, you know I think or I know UCF's a really good team a lot of speed they make it hard to defend I think defensively trying to figure out how their alignments and kind of what their game plan was um, I thought I thought that was a big thing in the first quarter would have liked to have been better in the first quarter. 
Um, I'm sure we're going to talk about that. But I'm, I'm proud, though, of the resilience. You know, from the very beginning of the week, we talked about uh, believing and trusting in the team. Um, believing in the guy to your right and left, believing in the coach that's with you, believing in this team. And then once you do that, and that's a big thing, then you trust the guy to your right or left, and then you trust the coach, and then you trust the team. And then that allows you to kind of just do your 111th, your, your job, uh, to the best of your ability. And I think that showed up, uh, that showed up uh, in the fourth quarter. So happy to see that. I think that's, this is something we can uh, start with and run with. Take any questions you guys got. Dave, uh, in all your time playing, coaching football, you ever been involved in a game with that roller coaster slam of emotion? And, and you got scored 29 in a row. Appreciate that. Yeah, you know, we were talking in the locker room. I think if it was 2018, no, 2017, it might be 2017. We played Auburn. They were up 20-something at halftime, the school I was at. And, um, you know, with Gus, there's always there's like 20 to 25 different, uh, you know, kind of gadget, kind of trick, maybe explosive plays. And so you have to prepare for all of them. And I remember, I think that particular year, um, I prepared for 19 of them. <laughs> you know, and the 20th one, the one that we didn't get to, that was the one that started the game, and we couldn't stop it. It was 20-something at half. And so to get it fixed and then to kind of come back, I mean, this one, this is a greater number than that. But, yeah, you love that about the game. It's a game of random events and setbacks. So it forces you to respond, right, as opposed to react. And I thought our guys did a good job. David, just talking about Blake and what he was able to do. Coming down, he missed three games, but really looked sharp. Appreciate that. Yeah, we had a meeting last night, and he wanted to speak at the end of it. Um, and he got up and spoke, and was really heartfelt. And um, you know, his presence just gave a bunch of juice to the team. And um, you know, it, it means so much for him. I think some of the issues the team has kind of been going through, Blake went through last year, and so here we are, kind of going through the same thing. And the guy that can lead us. Uh, that kind of knows the way out or through, rather, you know, um, had, wasn't there. So he, he knew in coming into it that all of it would be on his shoulders. And certainly none of us would tell him that, but he knew that that's what the perception would be. And so with all that being said, he welcomed that and embraced it. And so it's just so cool, man. You know, it's just so cool. I can't imagine all the, the pressure. And so he spoke um, way strong in the team meeting, and then, you know, the dude, I mean, we got to keep him cleaner. I don't know if we have to use, we have to, there's a bunch of grass stains on his jersey tonight, you know. We got to keep him cleaner, but the dude was, you know, the defense was, was you know, huddled up, he was in the defense huddle. If the offense is huddled up, if there's a guy his eyes were down, whenever the score was not looking good for us, he would pull the, the guy's face mask up, and so, Way proud of him. I think I think Baylor fans should be proud of him. Dave, going along with that, you always talk about complimentary football. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's really what we saw today mm -hmm. to get that win. Kind of talk about that and what you saw from both sides of the ball really complementing each other. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's taken it's taken a long time to get it. I wish we could I wish we could have got it sooner, you know. We've been trying trying to get it. I just think that's a that's a higher level of thinking. I think the, the base level is you're on the field and you're worried about what you're doing, your position. What's my, what was that signal? What is that? What is, did anyone get the signal? You know, or they're worried about their, you know, their, um, their technique or this isn't what it was in practice. Now he's out here. What do I do? And maybe the coach said something in a meeting room. And that's kind of the level we've been at. So to get it to where there's a confidence now, and that no matter what it is, I can see it and own it and play it. And then recognize the momentum swings and know when a big play is needed and know when things need to get tightened up and know when you know, things have to be backed up. That's just a way cool thing. And so um, we've had to, yeah, I credit the coaches with that. We've had to teach every bit of that, every part of the way. 
in um, a lot of uh, in a lot of failings. And Blake, so to teach the failings part to get to the winning part, way cool. Uh, Blake had said that Monterey had been putting in some extra work, and obviously he played a big role in the ending of the year. Uh, what can you say about Monterey and, and just what you've seen from him recently? Appreciate that. Yeah, I think Monterey from when he um, from last year, we could say, to maybe the beginning of the year, there's growth there. And this is off the field growth. This is, uh, this is going to be um, just kind of maturity growth, which everyone on the team, including myself, go through. And then really from the beginning of the year, really these last three weeks, four weeks, has been huge growth. Huge, you know, the last week, um, not a fun game and did not play well. The guy that was the most positive was Monterey. The guy that was the most trying to get in people's faces and get them motivated was Monterey. And you know, when he, this was start about three weeks ago, when he first started to do that, people would kind of come up and go, Monterey, you got to be this all the time. You're going to talk like this. It's good you feel that. You got to be it. And he's been it. And he's a captain for this game, right? And then, I mean, we saw Monterey Baldwin run over four or five guys today, you know, which is just a cool thing. That's when someone's playing for more than just them. That's what you see. It's pretty neat. Dave, 35-7, was there an adjustment on Grimey's part that brought the offense back like that, especially? I think the tempo, playing faster. Is that an adjustment that will be moving forward? I think so. When Isaiah's on a little bit of I mean, it's not a long one, but it's still a pressure-packed kick. Yes. I mean, just... Talk about his resolve in that moment. Yeah, proud of him, Isaiah. You know, I got to know Isaiah really, uh, really good, and I trust his uh, discernment. And I'll go to Isaiah on just issues or views with the team and everything because he always brings a really calm and collected uh, and really strong perspective. And so I have a lot of respect for him. You know, a couple years ago when he was kicking, um, I think the pressure kicks were probably the kicks he struggled with the most. Uh, he would show leg and, and be able to make kicks that uh, were not maybe in those scenarios. And so to go through all of that and then to lose his job and come back and fight and win his job and then make a pressure kick, again, so cool. And so, you know, it's, I guess it's got to be uncomfortable and all of it tight for it to be at the end of it, feel like how it feels. But um, I'm proud of him. David, good to see you. Go ahead. We're asking a lot about energy, uh -huh. and juice, and all that over the last few weeks, mm -hmm. especially in the second half today. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from, and uh, how did you kind of get that together? Appreciate that. Yeah, I thought that the, the team was playing for each other. I thought the team believed, you know. And so I think, um, you know, I think in the, in the start of it, I thought there was good energy in the, in the, uh, the meeting rooms and the warm ups and just all of it. You know, I think they've got to let go of that anxiety and just play. And I thought coming off of halftime, there was none of that. They knew that they could move it. They knew that they could stop them. It was just a matter of doing it. And, uh, and so there is a chip on their shoulder coming out of halftime. It's cool to see it. Well, he kind of alluded to at one point, he didn't know how bad they were down. He didn't know the score. Yeah. Do you think that that played a part in what he was able to do? Yeah, yeah. I think that probably comes just from all of last year, you know, I think. And just the probably some of this year too, unfortunately, you know. But there's, there's some about, I mean, you don't let the outside get into the inside and just focus on the inside and focus on what you can control. Uh, it's usually the way to do it. It's hard to do it. Dave, can you talk about Dylan Shaw? He was able to do it after Garrison. Yeah, it's a big, um, it's a big step up. I mean, Garrison has, has turned into be like a dependable dude, has, has um, has been an asset in coverage, and um, has been a plus one for us in that in that area. And so for him to come in and kind of take the reins and not miss a beat um, with some big snaps is really strong. How important do you think this kind of is for the, the fans that not only came out today to Orlando, but the fans watching back home, you know, seeing the fight that they've been kind of waiting for mm -hmm. from the Spurs team today? Yeah, I appreciate that. I, I think a win is important. I mean, we play to win, and so to get a win, um, but to do it like the, how you're saying it, in a fight and everything, is good.
this has been the team all along. We've had to get through um, a lot of our own stuff and out of our own way to bring what happened on a Tuesday practice to a Saturday uh, game. Thank you all. Thank you guys.